things to get right from the start in AS level physics. Number one, rearranging equations. Now, as an example of this, let's use this question. What's the acceleration of a car that goes from rest to 20 meters per second over a distance of 100 meters? Now, to answer this question, you might have come across uh, a formula um, that in your studies so far you might not have. But the formula we're going to use is one of the equations of motion, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Now, one of the differences between GCSE and A-level is the complexity of the formula and that makes it more difficult to rearrange. Now you have to be systematic and logical when you do this, so watch how I'm going to do it. To make the acceleration for subjects, which is what I need to find out in the question, first of all I'm going to take the u squared to the left hand side. Now it's a positive on the right hand side, so when I bring it to the left hand side it becomes a negative. That leaves 2as. I'm keeping the equal signs underneath each other, so the next step is to separate the 2s from the a, and they are multiplied by on the right hand side so when I bring them to the left they become divide so I end up with v squared minus u squared divided by 2s being a. Now that's the first step in answering this question you should always rearrange the equation in algebraic form before attempting to put in the numbers. The next step after rearranging is to put in the numbers however so I'm going to put those numbers in now so it goes from rest to 20 so v is the final velocity in this so that will be 20 squared minus 0 squared divided by 2 times 100. Got to be careful when you get a final answer here to think about what the numbers mean and make sure we get that right and showing every step of our calculation so 20 squared is 400, 0 squared is obviously 0, 2 times 100 is 200, so 400 divided by 200 gives an answer of 2. And um, I need to quote that units, and the units of acceleration are ms, so minus 2, and I have to watch out as well for significant figures, so I'm giving this to 2 because the other ones were given to round whole numbers as well. So things to remember are always record your, always write your equations out, keeping the equal signs underneath each other, rearranging algebraically first, then substituting in numbers and then expressing the answer to the correct number of significant figures with a unit attached. Thanks for watching, look out for the next episode.